really a tragic story here um, in the Multnomah Falls area. This is at the Angels Rest Trailhead, and just about 30 minutes ago, the Multnomah County search and rescue team went up to recover the body. Now, deputies tell us this uh, job could take anywhere between six to nine hours. Apparently, where the body was found is a pretty difficult terrain, and so they are prepared to uh, bushwhack their way essentially down to the bottom of the cliff of where this body was found. Deb, as you mentioned, they got the call around two o'clock this afternoon. It was actually another hiker that called 911. They spotted what they thought was a body. Uh, Gresham police is out here with their drone. They were trying to locate exactly where the body uh, was, was located and they did find it. So search and rescue and recovery is out there right now. Um, and as we mentioned, I mean, this is now the second or third um, the third death in this area. So it is it's a difficult day and it's very tough for search and rescue crews and recovery crews. Um, we do not know what the situation was that led up to this person's death. I was eating lunch and all of a sudden my girlfriend goes, what, what was that? And I was like, I didn't hear anything. She goes, I think I heard a gunshot. We now know the gunshot that neighbors and nearby businesses heard yesterday in McMinnville was from an officer-involved shooting. Oregon State Police say a man was potentially suicidal and confronted officers before he was shot by them. K2's Eric Mock has been following the story and has the latest. I met him before. He always sits over there and smokes cigarettes. Haley Paul was one of 69-year-old Lawrence Dixon's neighbors at the Hillsdale Plaza Apartments in McMinnville. She said from their brief, polite interactions, she would never have thought Dixon would die at the hands of police. Oregon State Police said around 2 p.m. yesterday, McMinnville police officers responded to the apartments for a call of a suicidal man. When they arrived, OSB says Dixon exited his apartment and confronted officers, and at least one round was fired by police, hitting and killing Dixon. Paul said her girlfriend heard the shot and told her, so she came out to investigate and saw the immediate aftermath. So I just walked out my back door and there was a, four cops in like a triangle with shields and one behind and they went over, kicked a handgun and the, the gentleman was already on the ground. So, but they, you know, searched him real quick and then immediately started doing compressions. Paul says she saw officers doing CPR on Dixon for several minutes until an ambulance arrived. But police now tell us he was pronounced dead at the scene. You heard Paul mention there that police kicked away a handgun from Dixon after he had been shot. In McMinnville, right outside that strip mall is where the incident happened. And just a few hours ago, that entire area was blocked off by police tape and dozens of police cars were surrounding the area. Although police wouldn't confirm anything, a K2 crew saw a body on the ground along with many shell casings. I was at work. I read it on Facebook because of the fact that I live in this area. I kind of keep a watch you know, what happens in the neighborhood. A neighbor who did not want to be identified says a lot of information is flowing around online in a neighborhood group. On Facebook, it does say that it was a mental health issue that caused the person to have a breakdown. How true it is, it's all hearsay, who knows. She says she actually moved here to get away from crime, but it didn't work. I've only lived over here for seven months, but we've had two shootings in seven months. I thought I moved to the better side of town and then only to come to find out that it's it's not the better side of town. And she's fearful of the amount of crime that's happened here. There's kids that live here, you know, where's our safety at at this point? An officer on scene told me the scene is completely cleared. They will not be back here tonight and there is no danger to the community.